So hello everyone. Welcome to Lorenzo Data Solutions. My name is Anipi Abraham, SAP Success Factors Consultant and Corporate Trainer. So in this episode, I am going to explain about performance and goals uh, management uh, H2 2022 updates with a few of the you know enhancements posted on my blog and I'm trying to explain in a detailed way about each functionality and I'm sure that all, all those who are watching this may help you with a few of the a few new details for your enhancements of your content and understanding about these features now the first thing is you know the dates of the schedule uh, preview release and production release and I don't think that I have to repeat the same because you have been watching the other videos also now this uh, the first enhancement uh, in the performance and goals H2 2022 updates uh, the first thing is um, what I have posted here copy goals from a goal plans so in the latest uh, goal management now users have the ability to copy the personal goals from their uh, goal plans as a new option to create a goals so when the users uh, they need to create a goal that is similar to the previously completed goal uh, in any other goal plans they can simply copy the goal and uh, the new goal will be set uh, just uh, with a few clicks so that is a one uh, thing that you users have the ability to copy the goals from the existing one directly from the goal plans so in order to use this uh, functionality the prerequisites are make sure the latest goal management is enabled the second prerequisite tgm total goal management uh, goal transfer widget feature also must be enabled and create a permissions is granted in um, xml configurations the right permission for a goal fields is granted in a goal plan template okay so these are the few technical details uh, but uh, this feature is uh, useful available for uh, performance and goals management including succession and development now remember this feature is admin opt-in this is not universal so as for your choice you can go to the upgrade center and you can activate this feature when you want to make this uh, this feature available uh, from december 19th sorry 9th december 2022 next uh, update is uh, copy the goals from goal plan even it same thing you can do it even from the uh, mobile applications like android and ios devices same thing uh, which, which you can do it in the browsers web browsers directly from your instance now it also supports the users to copy the goals uh, uh, their own uh, goals from the existing ones in the latest goal management by copying their similar goals when you want to set up with a few clicks the same similar to the first one uh, but this feature not only supports on the web uh, application it also supports on the mobile applications also like android and ios devices so these are the few details or uh, the technical details may help you please refer to it and this is an admin opt-in up enhancement not universal next uh, leave comments on goals so sap enhanced something in the latest uh, goal management which is like uh, users can add edit or delete the comments on their own goals uh, or maybe direct uh, you know the users direct reports also so what is the use of it actually by using these uh, comments users in your organization can provide a comment or make an inquiry on a goal or uh, keep a trackable record of a status changes to a goal and you can also share the ideas how to achieve uh, a goal you know so comments can also be managed in the same way not only goal management even in the performance uh, management forms 360 degree review forms and including career development okay for performance goals the updated comment feature is supported and comments are shown on the goal uh, details page previously in the legacy goal management comments are shown in the goal list or in the goal editing page okay so here is the screenshot 
and uh, where you can see that uh, on the people selector and you see there is a comment here which you can add so sap enhanced this feature uh, to engage the users with the goals and goal contributors in a continuous and interactive way okay so we made this uh, uh, we made a clear statement about this feature supported even for our development goals on 4th of november 2022 and the in order to use this feature the latest goal management should be enabled the comment field in xml also should be added otherwise it will not work so uh, this is for a total goal management and again the configuration type is admin opt-in and uh, it's a major functionality and uh, major enhancement and it is valid on uh, from 9th uh, december 2022 let us try to understand uh, the next uh, enhancement which is uh, replacement of uh, continuous performance management legacy version with a continuous performance management latest version so now sap has given a deadline that is going to end the maintenance of a legacy continuous performance management which is uh, may 20th 2022 and it is going to be retired completely as of may 24 2024 the replacement is the latest version of a continuous performance management so initially it released on uh, uh, h2 2022 so that is currently available in the upgrade center if no action is taken your company will be automatically updated to the latest version after the retirement date so design an update to the customers sap is asking you to update to the you know latest continuous performance management and uh, if you have not done it in the, uh, as of end of maintenance date automatically it's going to be updated so now you can see end of maintenance date end of maintenance date sorry development date maintenance date and deleted so the deprecation is the legacy continuous performance management is going to be replaced with the latest continuous performance management when there is no action taken by the customers so the deprecation details are here legacy continuous uh, performance management is going to be retired and replaced with the latest version of a cpm so as i told you the same points if you are not using it it will be automatically updated updated so there are a number of uh, v2o data apis that legacy version supports that are not supported by the latest version so the latest version only supporting v4 o data apis and here is the following details you can go through it okay and here are the technical details uh, please you can see all the uh, details uh, that maintenance uh, development and uh, end of maintenance states and uh, one more update uh, that i wanted you to understand which is very very important functionality not only for uh, performance management or goal management uh, this also for recruitment management employee central all the other areas also so which is a manage jobs in a scheduled job manager earlier we were doing all these in the monitored job but now you can use the schedule job scheduler tab uh, previously called a schedule job request to complete uh, the following actions that means create a schedule job request submit a, a schedule job request run a job immediately edit an existing schedule job request you can cancel a schedule job request delete a, a schedule job request okay and i have given you all the details about it in a detailed way and you can go through it so but now for each supported job type and uh, the available action vary you know for example for some job types you can only schedule a job request but you can't run job immediately for others you can run immediately and you can after the schedule is done so you need you need to click on actions menu for a specific job request to see what actions are available and do it accordingly so here create an update benefit or goal notification email mdf object definitions uh, for the database sync regenerate matrix placement history these are the few details and here is a 
a job a schedule job manager uh, not a job monitor it is a schedule job scheduler and you can create a request and uh, on the same page you can see the actions menu where you can run it where you can cancel it so instead of going to the provisioning uh, like you can complete many of the tasks directly from the admin center itself. That's a very good functionality and everyone should be knowing it. Okay. So these are the few updates. Uh, I'm sure those who have gone through this uh, short video and helps you to understand a few of the enhancements uh, from the performance and goals uh, H2 2022. So all those who are watching it. I hope you all felt it is useful. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you all again next time with a new topic. Bye everyone.